So here's a question. What is this expanding in Python pandas? And what is the use case of this? And this is probably one of the things that you're going to need for your data analysis projects. So here is an example. Suppose that we have a data like this. It has two columns, post, I mean, post number one, two, three, and all the way up to post number five. And here we have another column called view, which is, for example, five, two, and etc. So this is the corresponding view of each post. But here is a question. What is the meaning of expanding in pandas package in Python? Well, basically, it's very easy. It means this data but you should expand the previous data as well. But what do I mean? For the first data, it is the data itself. But for example, for the second data, it is the data itself, but you should expand all the previous data as well. And for the third one is the data itself, but you should expand the previous data as well. So for the uh, fourth one, it is going to be this data and all the previous one. And for this one, it is going to be this five and all the previous ones. But now let's do it in Python. As you can see, we have read our data. And now suppose that I want to do that expanding, which I explained for the view column. So in order to get a better sense, let's do something like this. So I simply type for every element in this expanding, I want to print each element in it so if i run a code for example as you can see for the first one is the data itself but for the second one it is the data itself and all the previous ones for the third one is the data itself and all the previous ones and etc as you can see for example for the last one is the data itself and all the previous data okay but now suppose that i want to calculate for example a function for each of these data series for example suppose that i want to calculate the summation of the values inside each of these data series. What do I mean? For example, for the first one, I want to calculate the summation of this and it's only one number. So the summation is a number itself for the second one, as you can see in this data series, because we have two data, the summation would be seven. And for this one, it is 15. For this one it is 16. And for this one, it is 21. So as you can see, we want to add another column called cumulative. And basically what we want to do is actually applying a function on each of these data series. And in this specific example, that specific function is sum, but it can be any other thing. For example, you can take average, you can take median or whatever you want to do. So let's do it in Python. So first of all, we want to define a function and let's name that function F. So it is going to get a data series. And based on that data series, you want to, for example, calculate the summation of that data series. And this function is going to return, is going to return this summation. So as you can see, this is our function, but the question is how can we apply this function to that expanding thingy, which we had before? So in order to do so, that's very easy. We can simply type df view and we want to do expanding for this. And after that, I want to apply a function on it. So I simply use the apply. And then, so I want to apply a function. So I should specify that function. That function is the F function, which we have defined in this line. And also remember that you shouldn't pass the parentheses because these parentheses are not part of the name of the function. The name of the function is F and not F with parentheses. So you shouldn't pass those parentheses. And now I want to add another thing. I want to pass another argument as well. So I simply pass raw equals to true. What do I mean by raw equals to true? So if you pass raw equals to true, it means that you are going to pass each of those data series in a NumPy format. But if you, for example, pass raw equals to false, it means that you are going to pass each of those data series in a format of pandas series, which I don't like it. I want to work with NumPy arrays. So that's why I want to pass raw equals to true. It means that each of those data series is going to be a NumPy array. And now let's store the results in a column called cumulative. That's it. And now if I print the DF and if I run the code, 
there it is you can see we have done that successfully but if you want to for example calculate other stuff for example maybe you want to calculate the mean of that data series so in order to do so you can change uh, this uh, function now if i run the code again you can see now we have uh, the average of each of those data series by the way on this channel i publish short and to the point tutorials like this one about python so if you're willing i suggest subscribing to the channel so you don't miss similar videos thank you for watching and see you in the next video.